Hello and welcome to this week's Problem of the Week for the Worldwide Center of Math. This week the problem is, let B and C be real numbers and define the polynomial P of X equal to X squared plus BX plus C. Suppose that P of P of 1 is equal to P of P of 2, which is equal to 0. Find P of 0. So the first thing that we're going to notice is that P of X is actually of degree 2, which means um, that in terms of roots, it either has one or two roots, two at the most. And you'll notice that from the definition of what a root is, it would be P of whatever number on the number line is equal to zero is where a root is at. And we know that P of P of 1 and P of P of 2 are both equal to zero. So therefore, P of 1 and P of 2, by definition, have to be the roots of this uh, polynomial. So we're going to use that. Now a little bit going forward, let me just write that out. So we know that these two have to be roots and just substituting in uh, 1 into p of x, we're just going to write out what those functions would be. So p of 1 would be 1 plus b plus c and p of 2 would be 4 plus 2b plus c. Um, and we know that p of x we know that p of x is equal to x squared plus bx plus c. And since these are roots, we know that then this polynomial can be factored. Um, so substituting in p of 1 and p of 2 as the roots, I'm going to write out what we get. So using these two as the roots, what we get for p of x is that x minus 1 plus b plus c and times x minus 4 plus 2b plus c um, is the factored version of what the polynomial p of x would be equal to. So then multiplying out a little bit and grouping like terms, we can transform this equation back into something similar to the original polynomial we have, and then kind of solve for what b and c could equal. And we can solve then from there for p of 0. So multiplying out and then grouping together like terms, what we get is x squared minus 5 plus 3b plus c plus 2c times x plus 1 plus b plus c times 4 plus 2b plus c. And obviously, this equation is very similar to the original one we had for the polynomial. So we can then uh, create two equations for what b is equal to and what c is equal to. So I'm just going to do that right over here. So what we get is that b is equal to negative 5 plus 3b plus 2c, and c is equal to 1 plus b plus c times 4 plus 2b plus c. So I'm just going to erase to give us some more room. So taking this first equation for b, um, what we can do is we can write it in terms of c. So moving the equation around, what we get from the original equation we have for b is that c is equal to negative 5 over 2 minus 2b. Um, we can now substitute this into this equation that we have for c. And what that gives us is this. So we get that negative 5 over 2 minus 2b um, is equal to 1 plus b plus c times 4 plus 2b plus c. Um, so what we can do now is multiply out, move the equation around, and solve for what b is equal to, and then obviously solve for what c is equal to from this equation. So plugging in c, this is the entire equation that we get. And I'm just going to do some simple algebra and get to what b is equal to. So 
So adding and subtracting out, what we eventually get is that b is equal to negative 1 half. And using what we now know that b is equal to, we can plug back in here, solve for c. And then we can solve for what p of 0 is equal to. So c is equal to uh, negative 5 over 2 minus 2b. So c ends up being equal to negative 3 over 2. And you'll notice that to solve for p of 0, what happens is plugging in 0 here, we just get p of 0 is equal to c. So we know that then p of 0 is equal to negative 3 over 2. So that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please check out some more of our math playlists on YouTube. Uh, check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you.